Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Maxwell. Today we're going to be reviewing four Go Macro Bars. And this is my sister Michelle. Hello. And all these are white refined grain free bars. And this is Maxwell Bates' channel. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going to first try the Go Macro Cashew Butter Ball. if that's what it kind of looks and feels like. Kind of like a caramel toffee is what it feels like. It's kind of weird press. It's like a caramel music setting. It's just fine. So the non-offensive ball, I'm looking for a little bit more flavor, but it has like a cashewy butter flavor, which that's what the ball is called. Uh, it's an overall just fine ball. It kind of reminds me of like cashew meal when you, if you've ever tried cashew meal, that's what that tastes like. <laughs> the Go Macro Pearl Ball is sesame butter and dates. <laughs> and all of these are vegan, of course. Vegan, gluten free, and what we find green free. It's a little easier to cut. Reminds me more of a sesame bar, like one of those sesame things. It still kind of looks like uh, caramel, but reminds me of like a sesame caramel. This one's pretty good. It reminds me of, what are the, those like, they're like sesame and then they're either honey or agave, depending on if you're vegan or not. They're like sesame cakes, they're crispy. That's what this kind of tastes like, but with the caramel, with the texture of like caramel. It's an overall just fine ball also. Um, the sesame and date pieces are nice, interesting addition. Also, just very mild in taste. I think this one's better than that one is. Yeah. But this one is just very strong, the sesame flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the the third one. Go macro bar. This one is Morning Harvest. The Morning Harvest bar. And so it reminds me more of like a nut loaf looking thing. Like if you were to have it the stuff on top of, of a nut loaf or something. Still has the caramel -y look to it, but this one's a bit harder to cut also. Oh really? I liked the the sesame one much better. S sesame butter date one. But I still think this one is better than that one. The reason I like it is the, I don't know if it's just the piece I got, but there was an apple, date, and that's all in one bite. Yeah, this one is very good. It is very healthy tasting, but it's very, it's very flavorful. It's not like a neutral, boring flavor. But it's not like, oh, I'm be trying to be healthy. It's a, oh, this is actually good. I want wholesome ingredients taste it. You can taste all the ingredients in it. Okay. It doesn't have any hiding things. Okay, now finally, we're going to be doing the green one, which is the granola and coconut. It tastes like granola. Um, I'm not a huge granola person, but it tastes like coconut granola, 
my sister is more of a granola person than I am. So but. the coconut um, is a lot more overwhelming than the granola, but it's overall just fine. It has a very pronounced granola coconut flavor. If you're into granola or coconut, you might want to try it, but it just depends on your taste buds. My favorite was the sesame date one, which was this one right here. And then I'd probably put the mountain harvest apple and walnut one second. Then I would put the cashew butter one last. And then this one I would probably put third. So this one I would get again. This one I would probably get again. But I would definitely get this one. Maybe if they had this one and that was an option, I would get that one. Then this one and then I would probably just skip that one. Okay, so I would go this one then the morning harvest and then i would do the sesame butter date next and then i would probably do the granola coconut next and then the cashew butter other than i probably would just try and get this one if i was going to choose any of the four dates okay so that's every all the different bars we're going to be having other bar reviews, so stay tuned, and lots of other food and snack reviews, and some more recipe videos coming up. So don't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and like it if you liked it.